Welcome to Tino Tech Hacks. Today we're going to have a lesson on Microsoft Word. We are continuing our previous lesson, how to use tables in our work. So straight away, let's head to Microsoft Word and uh, let's see. We have different ways of inserting tables into our work. You can draw the table yourself. You can generate it yourself, or you can use the creation wizard. So, to insert a table, the first thing you have to do is go to insert, and then you go to tables. Now, when you go to tables, there are multiple options. When you click here or choose any of the tables, that's what you are going to see. Whatever you select here is going to come as a table for you. So for example, I want to make uh, a five by five table. When I click on it, my table has been created. You can see the table here. That's it. There are many ways of creating tables in Microsoft Word. Now on this table, I can decide to give it borders. When I click on this, I think I'll get my bottom border when I Select the table, I come here, I go to all borders, outside borders, inside borders, no borders, right borders, any of the borders I choose, it's gonna work like that for me. You can see, these are diagonal borders, okay, these are right borders, okay, if I choose no borders, all the borders will be missing. If I choose bottom border, only the down bottom border will be seen. You can see the, bo the borders are there, but it's, it's, it's hidden. So depending on what you want to choose, this is top border. Depending on what you want to choose, that's what's going to happen for you. Okay. So let's see. All borders. So these are all borders. You can also go to shading. You can shade the borders, you can shade the border style, the lines, you can see, depending on how you want it to be like, you can choose any of the styles and then you use it. Mm, great color, yeah, you can see it there any color of your choice yes so those are how tables are designed okay i want us to go for another way of inputting a table so this is one way of bringing a table into your work you can manipulate it to suit you i'll go back to insert i'll come back here and i'll go to draw table now when i click on draw table there is an arrow the cursor changes into like a pen. So I can draw my table. Because I have selected that option already. That's why. So let me just go back and then deselect all those options that I did. Or I'll just go to undo and then I'll come back to my normal position. Okay, insert table. I click on draw table. Then I draw my table. Oh, it came back again. Can I do that settings quickly? Okay, let me come here. Let me go to shading. And then let me go to none. Choose none. Then that's it. Okay. So let me see again. Insert. Draw table. So that's it. Now I can decide to draw my table. Oh, God. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I think I need to make my settings. Mm. Come here and come here. Come here. All right. Insert. Draw table. I hope it's okay now, but still, I think the option I chose. So working but i just want you to see how to draw tables yourself 
Yeah. So I just created my table. Oh my God. Okay, fine. So let me just go back there and then click all borders. Yes. So that's it. I can equally expand it to suit how I want it to be like. That's another form of creating tables. All right, there is another form of creating tables. Let's check that one also. So let me take this one off. Mm. First of all, there is another way. So let's go insert table. Then I come to insert table. So we have number of rows and then we have number of columns. So when I choose 10 here, and then I choose 2 here, this is how it's going to be. See that? If you have it like this, you can equally use the same option where you can draw the table. For example, I can decide to draw tables and get more cells. You get my point? Yeah. So that there are multiple ways of creating tables. I can equally go there and set a new different type of table, five by five. Then I click OK. You see there? I can drag it and bring it somewhere here. Expand it. Put in whatever you want to put in. So this is the simplest way of creating tables. There are many other options you can choose from how you want the table to look like you can select from anywhere yeah there are multiple ways of designing tables you can see yeah same thing applies everywhere 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 same thing everywhere um, yes so that's it that is it Okay. Now let's go down here. We also have quick tables. We have Excel spreadsheets. We also have quick tables. So this an Excel spreadsheet has been created in my system for me already. I want to just clean everything I have here. Or just open a new file and then show you how it is also done insert excel spreadsheet so a spreadsheet is going to be created with all the cells there for you you can use it to do your something you get my point yes so that's it we also have this one insert okay so let me take this one off first mm -hmm. Okay, you said table, quick tables. So there are quick tables which are templates already. You just click on it and then you use it. So you can edit anything you want here. You see, you can edit anything you want here. Yeah, so we have multiple options. Multiple options. Yeah, quick tables. Quick tables. I look through, I like this one. I choose it you can see now these items you can equally use them for your own good you see these items I can select them and then I'll click copy then I will paste them somewhere mm, here then let's say I just want to take this thing off so I'll just click on this and then take it off entirely okay so i have this now i can convert this also into a table i highlight everything here then i go to insert i go to tables then i click convert to table 
it will give you options. You can just click OK, and then it will be a table for you automatically. I don't know if you catch it. I'm going to do that again. So Control Z, I go back, this undo. I have this table with me, right? This is pens, three. Pencils, two. Highlighter, two colors. Scissors, one pair, right? Books, one, right? I can highlight everything here like this, and then I'll go to insert, I'll go to tables, then I'll say convert to table. Then it will tell you how many columns and how many rows. So automatically I have two columns, this column and this column, and then I have eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I click OK, automatically it's going to create a table for me. I can decide to just click here, go home, and then make it like that. Make the justification. Thank you for today. See you another time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.